pretty incredible year for me. Uh, I won like 707,000. All right, we got us a three-year-old here, little bay mare. She's uh, daughter of SRS and Choice. Um, and this one has a tendency to want to think about me quite a bit. But uh, so I try to feed the cow to her as much as I can. Stay up against that cow a little stronger. I like to hold that line as much as possible without putting too much pressure on the cow. You definitely want that cow to come to you and have a lot of look. If you're pushing too much, you won't be able to get that. I'm up in that ground just a little bit. Nice move. Let's get a little more control of him right there. And then let him get comfortable again. And move him across that cow. A lot of people have their own theories on uh, how they want to work cattle, uh, whether they work across, to round. Um, I, you know, I think you can do it in any way you want. Everybody's looking for the same thing. They want the finished product that you can go be competitive with. Uh, there's a lot of different ways of training uh, and a lot of ways of working to achieve that. Right, this is a four-year-old. Um, she's a by highbrow cat. I have a mare called Miss Echo Wood. Uh, I've trained her from, from the start. Um, showed her at the NCHA fraternity last year. I think I split fourth and fifth. Thinking good there. You gotta keep this mare tightened down a little bit. She gets just a little strung out on her, on you, because of, she's got a lot of move. And uh, sometimes she overextends herself a little bit. But as you can see, she handled herself awfully well. Keep her slowed down a little bit. She gets to overdoing right there. You want a horse to get across that pen and control that cow. But uh, certain times you got to play a little more defense than normal. I like the horse to be tight on the cow, and if I want to ask them out there, they need to respond and, and get out there. And then tighten back up when, uh, when I want them to. All right, all right, now see right there, hold her in that stop after you, after you stopped her there. Make her stay in that stop. Make her back up a little bit. You feel a roll out of that stop on you? Yeah. All right, well, when you do that, Nick, when you feel that, go ahead and hold her in it. See, same thing right there. What? Same thing, hold her back in that stop. Make her take a step back before she turns around, just when you stop her real hard. That was really good. Very good. That's the only thing you gotta work on is when she stops and turns, you got to make her think. You want her to suck back in the middle of that turn and go on. And when, when you do, when she leans up on that cow and she's going somewhere, and you, you can't just use your hands to get her off.